Hello, uh, with this video I will start a series to learn Python for beginners. Uh, we will begin with a general overview for Python and installation in this video. Uh, in the next videos we will discuss the object types, numbers, strings, lists, dictionaries and etc. Then we will talk about functions, loops, modules, classes and, and many more. In this series we will cover all of the aspects of Python language and after finishing it you will uh, be able to write your uh, code, write your uh, programs and etc. and be uh, confident with your uh, skills in, in Python. So we will try to cover everything uh, in details. Uh, but if you would have questions or you would like to clarify things and etc. you could leave them in the comments and I will try to answer as, ma as much as possible. Uh, so let's start uh, today's video and today we will talk about the uh, how to install Python to your computer and uh, we will do uh, firstly the installations for Mac uh, users. Uh, First thing to check whether you have the Python installed in your computer already, you can just type Python and uh, version. Version. As you see, I don't have Python installed, so I need to do it uh, with you. So let's do it. So how to install Python? It's just easy. Just go to the python.org. Go to the downloads and uh, download uh, for your system. For me, it's already uh, figured out that I'm on macOS, so it's uh, recommend me to install it for macOS. In this series of videos, we will learn Python 3, uh, just because if you just learning Python, you most definitely will need to work with Python 3. If you would like to work with Python 2, you need to have uh, specific reasons to do that. But the 3 is the uh, current uh, version and this is the version that we will uh, work with. So uh, let's start with an installation. We will just download the uh, file just pressing here. And then we will just do... Um, just the installation if you installed any other program on your mm, computer so you would know how to do that just press continue continue agree with the license uh, just install you mac was asking me for my password and then it's preparing for the installation so we installing the python to our uh, computer as i uh, remind you we installed python version uh, 3 so you see, it's installed for us Python 3.10. We can just go to the uh, application. To our applications and we see that Python is here. Python 3.10 uh, uh, is here. So then how to check whether it's installed, we will run this Python version and you see it's written that command is not found. And the reason is because we uh, installed Python 3. So if I will do it with Python 3 version, it shows me that I have a Python 3.10.6. Uh, so uh, you could continue and work uh, all of the commands using Python 3 like that uh, and it would work fine uh, for you but for me I like to set it uh, as the best the, just as the Python so for that I need you can do it uh, too for that uh, I need just open the file uh, I will do it with the nano and it's the file uh, I will not explain the details what is the files and etc I will just show that the file lo located in the home directory and the file name is next uh, and you see I am here and here I will write uh, something like that which is alias python equal user local bean python 3 it's where my python 3 is located so make sure that there is no spaces here then I will press Ctrl X and there I will press uh, Y, yes, to save the changes. Now I need to re reopen my terminal and I will just write run Python version 
and you see that it's Python 3.6, uh, 3.10.6. So I just uh, rewrite it that then for now I can use all the commands with Python. You can continue with Python 3 or you can do the same as I just uh, did and do it with Python. So as you prefer. And now I will show you how to install Python for Windows. Uh, so if you are Mac user, you can just skip this part, but it would not be very long. So uh, first let I check whether we have Python already here. For that, I will, will press window button and air, and then I will search for a uh, command line like that, and I will have it here. So to check whether I have Python or not, I just need to type Python and version. So as you can see, Python is not found for this uh, computer. So what we need to do, we just need to go to the uh, python.org and download it for uh, Windows. We will work with the Python 3. Um, so we will download the Python 3 here. When it's installed, after that, you just need to install it uh, to your machine as any other uh, program. But be sure that you will click this Add Python to Path, because if you would not, you will not be able to follow the um, tutorial after that. So just make sure that you will do that. So it is installed and uh, let's just check uh, whether it's working, but I need to close this command line and open it again. So I will do Windows R and then open the command line and I will try now Python version. So you see I have a Python 3.10.6. So now it's installed, so it's uh, very easy. Now let's try to run small uh, first program. We can open our interactive uh, interpreter right here in the terminal by writing the just Python or Python 3 if you didn't change uh, what I just changed. So uh, as you can see, we are inside uh, the uh, uh, Python interpreter uh, and uh, we can just write something like print Hello world. And you can see that it's printing. So we just run our first uh, program or uh, we can write something like C equals four plus five. And then just print C. And we will see the result, which will be uh, nine. Uh, usually I use this way of running Python to experiment or if I want to check something um, as code as code here runs immediately. For example, if I'm in a doubt of how the piece of my Python code works, I just open interactive prompt and run command here to check the result immediately. So for example, I don't know how to um, like what will be if I will just add plus number and the text, uh, for example, it's number and a string, but we will discuss about the, uh, the objects later. So uh, I just wanted to test it. So what I can do, I can just um, again write uh, like C equals uh, test plus four. Uh, and you see that it's giving me an error. So now I can see that I cannot con concatenate, I cannot add string to integer. Uh, so I could check everything uh, immediately if I have some doubt. So I just open this prompt and do this. Uh, it's a good way to run Python code, but the problem is that, that it will go away as soon as it was executed. So I don't have uh, this code anymore. And if you would run like a very big program, pro program, you would probably want to save your source code, so sa save the information. And this is not the good way uh, to do that. Uh, so for that, we can create a Python file where we can write multiple commands and, and run uh, the script. So let's just do that. Uh, so let's just um, exit from the Python console. 
just writing exit and let's just create some file can do it in our application so where is the python tree we can just open the idea yeah here and then we can just create new file so his, here is the file and we will write the comments here so for example we will write again print hello world then we will do the next one c equals four plus plus five uh, print c and this would be uh, enough for, for our uh, for our script so we will save it and we will save it as the script pi pi it's the uh, for all the python files it's format for all of the python files so you uh, would probably want to save your python uh, files uh, like that with the, with the dot pi so we have our script and it's located in our document so let's try to run so our file uh, saved in the documents if you can see it is here our script file so to run it we just need to uh, run python then documents because it's uh, said here and this uh, the name of the our script pi and you see the result we have hello world and we have the result of c uh, so four plus five we, when we run Python program, it's completely hidden from you. But when you execute the program, Python first compiles your source code, uh, the statements in the file that we just wrote, uh, it, it's the source code, uh, into a format known as a bytecode. And then it is shipped to Python virtual machine to execute. Python executes all of the code in file from top to the bottom each time you run the script. So that is why firstly we see hello world and then nine, because if we will open our script uh, file in the documents here, if we will open it, oh, you would see that this was first and then this was second so that is why uh, it's running uh, like that you can run the script and see the result uh, not printed here in the terminal but uh, save it to the file so for that you can just do uh, python then the pass to our file for me it's located in the documents so we'll just write documents documents script pi then i will add this arrow and then i would like to save it in the documents as well so we will just write documents and i will name it as the result txt so i will save the result of this script in this file like that so if we will just check the documents now you would see the result is here it's the hello world and nine so everything that you saw in the terminal so this is the way to do that uh, so you can write and follow this tutorial just using the file and write python code uh, for that but better solution is to use some editor because if you would work on some bigger projects you would uh, need uh, to to work with the editors uh, some of the most popular is sublime atom or pycharm for this series of videos i will use pycharm community edition which is absolutely free uh, you can just go to the jetbrains website uh, here or you can just google pycharm, uh, pycharm download and it's in on the JetBrain website and you could just use not the one for the professionals but for the community for our um, tutorial it would be enough and just download it it's absolutely free yeah so for me i have it already installed uh, let me just uh, oh i have for the professionals version and community as well let me just open this community version and we'll I will show you uh, how it looks but in the next uh, in one of the next videos I will teach you how to set up your uh, project in the PyCharm so we could just open our file 
uh, that we did with, with which was the script yeah we open it here and and we will work uh, on the next series uh, here in the pie chart so this is all for today. Uh, the main goal was just to install Python in our computer and rust, run our very first program. So we did it in two ways, one uh, through Python interpreter and the other way is uh, to run the file, run the script. Uh, in the next video, I will continue and discuss the Python objects types and specifically we will talk about the numbers, uh, integers and floats. Uh, so please subscribe so you will not miss the video and if you found this information useful leave it a thumbs up for any questions leave a comments uh, below uh, and remember knowledge is our superpower so see you soon